uh, so don't be bothered But what your friends say cause they don't know my love I'll hold you, I'll be your shoulder And you'll never cry You don't have to fear No, no I, I will make you feel And I will make you feel like you never be loved before Cause I will give you love like you never be loved before Cause you never be loved before Cause I will give you love like you never be loved before Fantastic, Maurice Kiria, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And remember, you can get more of that. In fact, I'll be telling you where and how coming up uh, much later. But Maurice, welcome to the Press Box. Once Thank again, you. it's a pleasure to have you. Always Thank a you. pleasure. Uh, you recently became a father. Yeah. Uh, how's fatherhood? <laughs> Tell us about that. It's Is it as hard as they portray it? Oh, definitely. It's hard because uh, it's the first time. So uh, there's a lot of getting used to. But for the most part, it's amazing. Uh, so many surprises, so many stories to tell. Do you know how to change diapers? I'm, I'm a pro now. <laughs> I'm a pro. <laughs> Talking about music, uh, where did it all start out for you? And when did you realize that you actually fell in love with music? I think it's because I come from a very musical family. All my siblings are into music. So uh, it's something that we could not avoid. It was my best way of communication. So from an early age, our parents knew that we, we had the talent for it. And they, they let us embrace it. Of course, you know, you, you sing the, the Moyo yeah. uh, style of genre of music. And we've seen so many upcoming artists, yeah. uh, you know, singing this Moyo type of mm -hmm. music. Uh, does it make you happy to see that you're inspiring some of these young talents? Extremely. You know, when I started, uh, so many people didn't believe in, not, not believe that that's too harsh, but they didn't understand what I was trying to do. And for me to see so many artists these days doing that that we did many years ago, it only makes me so happy because at least I'm not alone now. You know, now, this is quite interesting because uh, you're one of the few or the only artist I know in Uganda and maybe in East Africa uh, who's an, a musician and an actor. We've seen you uh, in the Queen of Katwe. Yeah. Uh, we've seen you in The Last King of <laughs> Scotland. And these are actually Hollywood movies. Right. Uh, how does that balance come along for you? To be honest, I think I credit my team. They put in a lot of uh, work to make sure that I meet all the schedules and I put in all the work because none of these things comes without hard work. Mm -hmm. Preparation has to be there, starting with me before my team can help me. So, but the credit goes to them. So do you uh, spend time, you know, putting equal time to acting and music? I've, I've got to because now that's my job. Apart from the other businesses I try to do on the side, uh, my talent is my job. All yeah. right. Okay. Many don't know that you're actually a very sporty person. <laughs> uh, I know you, you, you do some taekwondo and boxing and karate. Tell Just about boxing. That. Uh, yeah. and what interests you? What sport actually interests you? I, I, what I like about boxing uh, is the fact that you cannot afford to not get all your senses involved. And that for me is one way to stay awake. So when, I, when, I'm, when I'm training, with, uh, when my, when I'm training I, I have all my senses open. You know? So I appreciate that so much with the so sport. Is it, is it, do you train to just keep fit or is it self-defense? No, or what no. Is it? <laughs> it's, it's fitness. If, if you're trying to beat me up, you're definitely going to beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, um, are you a McGregor, Mayweather, a Khabib fan? Did you watch the match? Yes. Are you I, a Pacquiao guy? I was for Pacquiao. I lost terribly. That bet that went was terribly. Yeah, I, yeah. I lost terribly. But for McGregor, I saw it coming because... Uh, he was drinking like a week before, I think. <laughs> I, I, I saw footage of him on a boat drinking. And you know, MMA, is, the grappling is not something you play with. And in the first round, second round, you could see he was already yeah, tired. Yeah. And for Khabib being the underdog, he, he had more to give yeah. because the expectations are not so high of him. So he can balance himself to actually win. But I actually think McGregor was tired before he got into that ring. All right. Um, you have a concert coming right. up um, this Friday, actually. Yes. Uh, Kyria Live concert. Indeed. I know you have uh, three albums. This will be the fourth. You have uh, Misubawa, you have Moyo, and you have the Book of Kyria. Tell us about Freedom that's coming up this Friday. Um, the concert is actually not about an album, mm -hmm. but a lot of many catalogs from all my albums will be played, actually, as usual. So that's what Kyria Live is about. We bring all the other catalogs we've done, but now it's different. We get all the other musicians involved especially next year uh thanks to ntv yeah. we're going to make it even bigger so all artists will be welcome to do 
amazing stuff on stage. But the album that's just been released is Free Dreams. Free Dreams, yes. Yeah. Um, is people were asking me, ask Morris actually, um, how do you bring back your old sound? Because some people fell in love with, you know, mm. uh, Misubawa during yeah. the time. Then they see you switching up your music style <laughs> a bit. Are you, are you going to, you know, go back to maybe what they relate you with? I think, I think the best way to answer that is, as an artist, I want to keep growing. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that so many people have carried the leaf and uh, tried what I did then, and that's perfect. Yeah. But as an artist, I keep trying to evolve and learn new things mm -hmm. and actually try to create things that are new. And I'll always be that guy that keeps switching. All right. you, it's never, you never play safe. No, I'll, I'll get bored. <laughs> <laughs> People don't, people don't believe me when I tell them, and it's good you're here today, because I yeah. said, I'll ask you this question, right. and I'll let them you know, right. uh, hear it from the horse's mouth. I did background vocals for you. Right before you got so confident to call me a horse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I, was, I, was calling you <laughs> I know, I know. But I did that for you. <laughs> you yeah? did, and um, what people don't know, that you are a wonderful singer. I remember the first time I met you. <laughs> Look at him, show you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first time I met him, you were wearing a t-shirt that had six cans and okay, it said don't, a don't six give out pack. Too much. <laughs> okay, I'll keep it. I'll okay, keep uh -huh. it. But you did an audition for uh, a Boys to Men song and immediately we had you in the band and I hope that someday people get to hear your talent. Well, I hope that someday people get to hear my <laughs> talent. Well, uh, on the show, Maurice, we normally have, uh, I normally have a segment that's called Quick Fire. Right. And I ask uh, random questions to my, to my guests. You don't have to think about the answer. Right. Just give me what comes to your head immediately don't think too much about it gotcha you ready gotcha artist you listen to the most kendrick lamar wow okay ugandan personality with the best hairstyle uh lokodo <laughs> <laughs> all right beyonce rihanna or cardi b rihanna oh no no okay favorite song that you have played your your song that you've performed or played Rene Kidia. why because it tells a story that scares me so much. I have a feeling it will be my most played song when I'm gone. Wow, okay. Uh, favorite food you can cook easily? Whip up? Uh, boiled eggs. Not hot food, so. <laughs> okay. And uh, finally, hardest part about being a father? Uh, the expectations you put on yourself are amazingly heavy. There's no way that you cannot do that. And every night, I, 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 I imagine I'm going to do everything there is in the world for my daughter. Would, and yeah. it keeps me awake. Would you want her to, to follow your footsteps? Oh, no, no. I want her to be herself. Yeah. I want her to decide for herself what she wants in life. I will never tell her what to be. I'll just encourage her to be who she feels she is. All right. Uh, we know you have a video called Quipping. Right. How true is that uh, music? Is that some truth to it? Is there a message to it? That you're trying to tell us? Sadly so. And, and, <laughs> I, I, and I don't think this is a story uh, that's just mine. Okay. Everyone has gone through this. Yeah, We've been in yeah. relationships where we were lied to or we lied to where you don't know that the person has another person on the yeah, other end. The other side. Yeah. Okay. So it happened to you? Yeah, I was just uh, <laughs> depicting your story. <laughs> Fantastic. It's been great to have you, Maurice, on good. the show. Um, Kiria Live uh, is on this Friday at the Kampala Serena Hotel, Victoria Hall. This Friday, Kiria Live. You can buy your tickets from? They can get them at Definition Africa, Design Hub, or on cricket.co.ug, or they buy them at the Serena. Oh, fantastic. It's been a pleasure, Maurice. Dope. Always Thank good you. to have you. Thank You're you. going to leave us with something? Oh, yeah, sure, I can. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Jagalo manyo mutima kwange Ndute ludeo katinzize Nzandi koya garaboti Nzandi koya garaboti Nzandi koya garaboti Katinzize katinzize nkwebaze Thank you. Many thanks, Morris Curia, ladies and gentlemen. This has been an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you. Fantastic. Andrew, back to you. Oh, man. Morris Curia, eh? Such, such a good vocalist, such a, a beautiful talent. Thank you very much for coming to the show. Mark, who was the Morris Curia?
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm struggling to find who it was. I, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I yeah. mean, this, yeah, this, this guy is tal multi-talented. It's mm. amazing. It's, it's, um, I just love that voice. It's yeah. a beautiful voice. Yeah. And uh, to think that he can do instruments with it as yeah. well, it's, it's just amazing. And, and again, mm. uh, as viewers of the press box, <coughs> one of the things we do is to make sure we respect you highly and because uh, we really uh, appreciate the time that you give to the show. So every time there's some wrong information that comes from the show to you, uh, we come we on and apologize. Apologize for it. Like. Uh, so the thought that Joel Kamadi was a singer, again, <laughs> is really on our producer's side. We really uh, apologize. And that kind of information will not be coming through on the show again. 